Hey guys, uh, I'm Jacob and today I want to talk to you about the TRC Urban Tactical. This is a knife, this is just going to be a very surface level review based on my respect for TRC's manufacturing and I'm reviewing this for my friends. So when I get done with this, I'm going to ship it off to them. There's not going to be a long term, we're not going super in depth, but this knife has some features on it and some details that I think are super, super cool. So I'm just going to share those with you. Let's get to talking about it. So again, this is a surface level review uh, and I'm going to make it quick. I will say if you enjoy the content, consider checking out the description box below to see how you can support this channel. Uh, but we have we have a absolutely fantastic knife and if you are new to the knife world, it's a TRC that should be expected. If you're not new to the knife world, you probably already know. We're going to start at the blade. Um, edge geometry is not the sliciest in the world, but it's also not thick. I think it's a good balance for the steel and the grind that was used. I would say it might err on the side of being overbuilt. However, it's nowhere close to the industry standard of even just five years ago. So your old school SEs, Ontario's, K-Bars, uh, whatever, um, it, it's, it's nice. It's nice, it's relatively beefy, and it's gonna cut well. And it's gonna cut well for a really, really long time because TRC uh, does a good heat treat. Uh, backing right back to the handle, this is probably the most unique thing about this knife. Uh, it's kind of weird. Not uncomfortable, guys. Now, I, 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 th this is a surface level review, so I haven't been bearing down on this thing for a long time doing feather sticks. I haven't been bashing it through wood, but for the things that you guys are going to use this knife for, it's very nice. I normally am not a fan of jimping. You see we have jimping all along here and along here as well. The name Tactical is in the blade after all. However, um, it is like usual on a TRC, edges are chamfered, things are rounded. It's, it's really not bad, it's really not uncomfortable. I could do quite a bit of bush stuff if I desired uh, with this knife, no doubt. I will mention a lanyard because this did come with a lanyard and it's very nice, you know, you look at this, Oh, it's a lanyard, who cares? Someone sat there and took the time to do these diamond knots and to get these decent, it takes a while. How do you know, Jake? Because I made paracord items for a living uh, for like six, eight years. I still do it, I just, it's not my main thing anymore. So this is nice. I think that, the, I think that this is a lanyard tube that's not flared. And I think that's super clever if that's what it is. Generally speaking, I love flared tubes like this. I absolutely love the look of them. On a larger hard use knife, I don't prefer them. I bend them. Uh, and then I have to bend them back. I prefer a screw. I think it's tougher. This is not a large knife that's going to be seeing any crazy impacts. Again, just look, the spine is uh, exposed here, but it is crowned nicely, chamfered nicely shaped beautifully. And here's a big deal with this knife. I think it has the nicest kydex I have ever seen on a production knife. The uh, way that it comes in and rockets out. Um, <clears throat> I, do, I do that with a lot of knives. So you can't see through this demonstration. You can't feel through what I'm showing you here how nice this is, but I mean, talk about just buttery, smooth, and beautiful. That retention is adjustable, so we've got a rubber spacer there, some rubber. You can tighten or loosen, so if you like it tighter, looser, whatever, you can do that. This is a wonderful, wonderful Kydex sheath. 
uh, there, there, there is not a custom Kydex maker on the planet who would not be content with this retention. And it is a taco, which I do prefer for size and for toughness. So overall, guys, this, like... In typical TRC fashion, look if you if you're not if you're not familiar if you don't believe me, just spend one second on Google or in a knife group. Guys, are TRC knives nice? You might see a whole bunch of people saying they're vastly overpriced, but I don't think you're going to see say, see anybody saying that they are not nice. And the details that make this knife very nice are expensive for a company that's actually going to stick around. And they're coming from Lithuania, which is wild. So you've got a small, small mom and pops business over there in Europe with an eye for detail, um, making wonderful knives with, um, like again, uh, incredible attention to detail and fit and finish. And uh, that's what it's gonna cost. It just, it doesn't matter. So. If you want to take a step up from your standard knives, TRC is a fantastic way to do it. And this Urban Tactical uh, is the perfect knife uh, to start with, especially if you're looking for a knife this size, because you know what? I love the Apocalypse, but um, if you want to spend money and splurge and get a TRC, you're not going to use the Apocalypse as much as you're going to use this. You can carry this every single day, and that's how you get the most out of your money. Um, I want to wrap up here general overall feelings. This is not a super lightweight slicer. Um, this also doesn't feel like a overbuilt beater. There is, with the handle geometry, the jimping, and the way that everything is designed, it feels heftier in hand than it actually does. It's just super secure super nice and um you know if you said jake you have to pick one production knife and uh you this was one of the only options in this price range or whatever i would have no issue selecting it that came out kind of weird but i'm just shooting off the cuff here and all of a sudden i'm thinking like who else might I even pick anywhere around here? The Ursus Cub is a little bit smaller, but probably in the same range. And um, I, I, I probably like it better in some ways. Uh, who the crap else for an actual production knife? Nobody, I don't think anybody. I don't think anybody. So, um, you know, top of the heap right here right up there at the top in my opinion fantastic blade let me know what you think in the comments section below i hope that you have a blessed day and i will be getting this knife back to its owner this was given to me by andreas uh at blade show to ship to my buddy here so that was really cool hanging out and the guys over there they are super super cool guys super into shooting and they're into knives i mean that's that's our people right uh, anyways, talk to you later.